Hey you guys, it's me again, the Metaverse Explorer, with another episode of Grape Solana Alpha. Quick one this time, we have three tutorials for you. The first one is Soda Protocol. They have an airdrop coming, so it's probably good to learn about this if you want some airdrops. We have the One Soul main at launch. We also have the Poll Aggregator, uh, where Whale Sales provided us with some alpha, where you can actually lend, uh, you can give them your USDC and get an increased ROI. Um, we have the Katana, which is the grand champion of the La Solana Ignition Hackathon, and their documents being released at the moment so we'll have a look at them see what they have to offer uh, selenium at the moment is having six idos six idos in the next couple of days uh, and we can see this because the price of uh, price of uh, selenium slim has actually been steadily increasing so people are kind of realizing that selenium is uh, not a child anymore you know people are coming here protocols are growing in solana and they need a place to offer their token it's either radium or selenium not many other places star launch is one of them but nothing yet there we'll have a look at radium idos as well there's a two of them coming at the moment and also the lending on Francium has been going crazy with such high APYs on some of these uh, uh, tokens. One of them is Genopets, which you're currently getting about 300%, which is crazy because Genopets is about to be doing their fair launch protocol where you will have to actually uh, send your Genopets to try and get an NFT. Um, after that, we look at Jabba, which is the new Bonfida social messaging app, which looks pretty cool so far. I'm going to see what it looks like. Uh, we'll have a look at Soul Rise Dawn, which nothing has really been happening. The hype has dying down. Not many, there's not much uh, AUM under these funds and uh, you know, there's, there's nothing really cool to see yet. We're, we're still waiting. And then at the end, we also look at the Aurori locked staking, which is pretty cool. This is a locked staking instead of a uh, flexible staking where you can take it at any time. This is uh, kind of locked for, I think, five months where you have a 400% APY at the moment. And that's it for now, guys. Let's get to this episode. Hey there. If you're new here, I'm the Metaverse Explorer, and I provide you with the most up-to-date Solana-specific content and alpha to increase the size of your portfolio. All totally free. All you got to do is click that little bell and that little icon. I get my sources from three different places. The Grape Solana Discord channel, join us, have a chat to me. The Solana Grapevine, a daily newsletter providing the best source of information regarding new protocols, rewards. It's a group of passionate people that carefully curate new announcements, new projects to discover and actionable intel for you to experience yourself. You can get the link to this down below. And of course, the Solana Foundation and the ecosystem. Let's get to this episode. All right, looking at this uh, TVL at the moment in Solana, we are at 14.44. We're just trading slightly sideways from what we used to be. Uh, nothing much is happening because uh, crypto and everything in general has just been going up and up and up recently. We're in a giant bull run, so I expect the TVL to be increasing. Nothing specific has actually changed yet. So Radium is still leading at 13.23%, and we have nothing new happening except for Quarry, which has now appeared here. They have 1.36 billion. Now, that being said, you know uh, some of these protocols are all also using quarry so this is like a double up of tbl this isn't really cool and i think we should uh, work together at, to consolidate this tbl uh, nothing much has changed in the actual place except for a new addition which is invictus dow 72 million and also soda protocol which we're going to do a tutorial right now 6.2 million dollars apart from that nothing else is new uh, poll aggregator as well but they're really small they're only 2 million let's have a look at them let's have a look at these soda tutorials so soda is a lending and borrowing platform on solana there are a few of them, Solend Finance, Port Finance, uh, even Pi if you want to use them, the Parrot Pi. So they're actually having an airdrop uh, event at the moment. And you go across to the event section, this is the Soda Sparkling Liquidity Provider Rewards. From November 25th to December 24th, the top 100 liquidity providers by average liquidity will receive a special NFT. Now, why do we actually want this special NFT? Because you get ranks for these NFTs. The first person that provides the most liquidity uh, gets the king and then you know, rook, bishop, knight. The top 100 suppliers will get a special NFT according to the ranks. The NFT holder can share the reward pool proportionately. Wow, there is a reward pool. What is a reward pool? It's 2 million soda tokens, which is 1% of the total soda supply. Um, and of course, they give you some extra um, uh, um, uh, spe specifications as to when things will be unlocked, such as the uh, percentages and when there's actual supply in the um, protocol. Let's go ahead and have a look at the actual protocol. Go to the markets. 
You can supply BTC, Sol, Serum, USDC, USDT, ETH, and Ray. Ray, ETH, USDC are double rewards, while Sol, Serum, BTC are single rewards. Now, what you can do is you can probably deposit your USDT and USDC for 4.37%, which is pretty low to be honest. But if you have some radium, here is a good place. But you can actually go to Fra Francium and get a much, much higher APY in radium than you do than here. So let's do something very simple, shall we? I have my account in. Let's go ahead and borrow some USDC. Let's borrow USDC here. Well, I just want to borrow 10 USDC. And we're going to see, yes, I already have some money in here. I can borrow a maximum of 2.3. Uh, borrow APY is 8.01. My wallet balance is going to go from 0 to 10. My borrow limit is uh, not changed, really. So I'm going to go ahead and borrow. Approve this transaction. Wait for it to load. And then at the end of it, you can go to your dashboard and see what you're supplying. You can see I myself am borrowing rate and uh, supplying some USDT, which is really low. And you can see this is very stupid because I'm actually losing 0 0.64 um, dollars per day, per day. But I think this will be slightly offset when the new tokens come into circulation. I'm happy to uh, eat this for now until this comes out. I'm also making more in the Radiant pool anyway. Now let's go ahead and actually, they have a sole ID which is coming later, which is a credit system. So if you, you know you pay back your loans on time, you don't get liquidated, then you probably have higher credit, which means you can borrow at a lower rate. This is the event section. My current rank is 69. You can see my address here. And my current rewards are 20,000 soda. We don't know what soda is going to be worth now, but hey, it might be worth more than zero. So yeah, and we can see the average score. They have a lot of score. They're way above the current uh, the current uh, people. And that's about it. I'm going to leave the 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 explainer for this down below. You know, you'll be getting medals, and these medals will be giving you the NFTs, the the um, uh, proportion of these fees. Cool. Let's look at one soul. So OneSol has come up with Mainnet. They are an innovative cross-chain aggregator on Solana. To my knowledge, they don't have a token yet. We'll try and find out. Let's have a quick look at their backers. Uh, Solana Ventures, NGC Ventures, Bitscale Capital, Axia 8. Haven't heard of these three, but I know of Solana Ventures. And they have some trusted partners, but uh, if you are in the Solana ecosystem, basically everyone's a partner because it's very tiny. Now, what do they actually offer? What's the process? Initialize accounts, smart calculator, a swap, and a return to you. Um, this doesn't seem anything special. We aim to aggregate everything. We'll aggregate the, in the future swaps, order books, CFI markets, OTC markets, interesting, NFT trading aggregation, GameFi loot box, and one step lending and borrowing. That's cool. I want to see lending and borrowing. Lending and borrowing are like a staple in any ecosystem. Once you can lend your collateral, borrow on your collateral, and use that funds for something new, then you start getting the machine rolling, you know? Let's have a look at their team. They have Tintin Kroef Asahi, CEO, tech lead, staff engineer, three team members, very small at the moment. That's not bad. You can execute very quickly. Um, and let's look at how it works. Get more swap easily. No need to compare prices among swaps and markets. Just one step to fair price. Okay, let's go ahead and try this out. Where is launch app? Now I've got some soul in my wallet. What I want to do is swap my USDC that I uh, just uh, borrowed on that and let's swap it to some what do I want Solana come on too low okay now I'm going to actually uh, compare this to Jupiter aggregator to see what happens to see what the new price is so 10 USDC to Solana they're gonna give me 0 0.04901 I want USDC to Solana and max, what is it going to be? 0 0.04900. 0 0.05. Oh, this gives you a little bit extra. This gives you a little bit extra. It's slightly more efficient than Jupiter Aggregator. Oh, that's interesting. Super interesting. Jupiter is supposed to be the best Dex Aggregator on here, but One Soul is a little bit better. Now, let's try this if you have 10K. Let's see if it's going to be even a bit better. 10k forty nine forty eight point nine seven seven forty eight point nine oh it's better it's better than Jupiter aggregator guys holy crap awesome 
I'm not going to make this trade, of course, because I don't have this much money. But yeah, they have a trade function already. Um, and let's find out if they have a token, shall we? But they do have some uh, small dashboard here where you can look at the TVL. And you can see not much is actually being loaded here at the moment. You can see some of the changes, similar to DeFi Llama. And let's look at the chains. Nah, too slow to load. Come on, guys, work on it. BTC, ETH, Sol, Serum, USDC, USDT, Ray. And they're using Pith as their Oracle. And you can and they're working really closely with Soda Protocol. You can see it here that you can borrow on Soda. And you can trade Pith. You can trade um, um, your tokens on Pith. Super, super cool, guys. Super cool. Thank you. All right, guys. So I did find a bit more about them, which is probably good to know. They have some tokenomics coming up. They have a governance section, cross-chain discount, farming. Users can profit from one sole token liquidity pools and yield farming features. Use one sole in transactions to reduce the split percentage. Now, they have a trade to earn coming at this moment. So two airdrops for you. This is three days old. Let's have a read and see what it says. Um, trade to earn to celebrate the successful launch of Sol. Set we set up to trade to earn prize pools to reward the users who have always supported one soul. Uh, pool number one: daily top three traders to win token blind box. We will reward the top three traders uh, based on volume. How it works: we'll set up top three, uh, and according to a certain percentage of actual trading volume, it reward USDT, BTC, Sol, or other tokens. No limitations to how many tokens one buy box contains. One Sol retroactive airdrop. Every trader on Solana mainnet will receive rewards on every single trading day. How it works. Based on one's activeness and trading volume on the One Sol mainnet, each trader will be eligible to share 0.8% of the total supply of the One Sol token. Uh, the range of trading day is midnight to midnight. Um, November 28th to December 6th. Ooh, that's not much, guys. That's not much time at all. And IDOs and IEOs are on the way, winky face. So get trading on here. If you use Jupiter Aggregator, you know, give them a give them a go as well, but use one soul as well because, hey, they have a retroactive airdrop. You don't know what any of these tokens are going to be worth very soon. All right, next tutorial for you is Poll Aggregator. What are they actually doing? They're a leveraged yield farming aggregator. There's so many aggregators and leveraged yield farming coming to Solana. It's crazy. They have one one strategy at the moment which is the port uh, which is a lending and borrowing platform usdc stablecoin leveraged yield farm leveraged farming pool so what does that mean they take your collateral uh, borrow against it and use that to farm as well or borrow against it again and farm again and borrow against it and farm again that's called leverage guys i haven't deposited anything here yet but you can see the total value locked is 200 and what is that 100 thousand two million 2.1 million apy is 11.18 percent plus 138 percent in the poll token now the poll token is actually trading on dex lab at the moment and it's 0 0.008 and let's have a look at the history right okay so no one discovered it here just when it launched people buy a small bit no liquidity shoots all the way up people realize their profits comes all the way down found a small bottom over here and now uh getting more popularity because the strategy has started and now i expect people are going to be farming this shit out of this and then it's slowly going to go down probably not reaching all of this floor at the bottom here between the five to six range five five to seven range so around this way let's have a look if this manages to catch on then the token of course will fly let's have a look at how you can do it so click on this one uh, you can deposit withdraw rewards what does it actually do deposit your usdc and poll will automatically repeatedly lend and borrow using port finance uh, earn both port finance yield with leverage a poll aggregator also helps you sell your port on serum to compound your yield current liquidity cap is 2 million but we're at 2.1 million so i don't know how that's working they have a withdrawal fee of 0 0.1 so what you can do is in here just type in your usdc you want to give 10 usdc in here and then what's that going to do it's going to go to port finance use that as leverage and earn you some tokens now on top of that you can take once you've deposited this you get the lp rewards take that over to quarry Quarry is the underlying protocol that or most of these have been using, and I'll show you where you can go. So in the mine section in Quarry, take it to the poll aggregator governance token. They have one pool and they're giving out 1 million poll per day. View this Quarry and you can see I have $200 in here as a small test. Uh, what does that mean? There's no APY at the moment. Don't know why they can't calculate this but the total staked is $2 million. So just slightly below what's actually in poll aggregator. So there's a small amount of people who haven't found out about Quarry. Uh, what does that mean? So your US, your rewards for poll aggregator are 19.3, uh, which is, you know, 
times 0.008, like 50 cents, less, less than $1. Um, and my rewards are 95 pole per day. I can withdraw this back here and it'll give you back your PO, a port, um, uh, pole aggregator, USDC money. And then you can go back to pole aggregator and withdraw this over here. And when you remember, if you withdraw, it's 0.1% fee. So make sure you're covered at least with your 0.1% fee. Uh, and that's it for the uh, poll aggregator. I'm really interested to see what other strategies because you can use Solend, a uh, leveraged yield farming per, uh, strategy. You can use um, all, all of the other. There's like four other lending and borrowing pl platforms on Solana. Now, the grand prize winner on the Solana Ignition Hackathon has been Katana. Katana is uh, kind of like a shadow thing. We haven't seen much of them. We don't know who their team is, um, but they just recently released their documentation. So let's have a look at them and see what they say. So introducing Katana. Um, this is a bit old. That's not what I want. I want the new one. There we go, the documentation. So what is Katana is building the uh, yield generation primitive for Solana. Um, Katana's yield is not dependent on liquidity mining programs, but price action, which is a slightly a bit different, thereby offering a diversified and more for a more sustainable source of yield. Who's it for? Retail users, hey, hey. Uh, DAOs, treasuries, hey, hey. Uh, DeFi protocols, not me. Uh, institutions, not me. FinTech, not me. So I see, it seems like they have an, a broad audience that they're going after. Uh, let's have a look at the value proposition. Uh, advantages, sustainable yield, automated yield generation, strategy optimization, built on Solana. That, that, that's, that's like a baseline, everyone's built on Solana. Tax efficiency, Katana's vaults are tax efficient as they automate and execute a strategy on behalf of the protocol as opposed to an individual incurring taxable events on each transaction while manually executing the same strategy. I guess so, but Tulip does the same thing, so what's the differentiation? What's the vision for you guys? Democratize access to best yield strategies, enable anyone to contribute strategies and products to the protocol. Yeah, so okay, so that means it's permissionless. Allow developers to permissionlessly build products and protocols on top of Katana, sure. Transfer ownership to the community, sure. Better align incentives and distribute upside to all stakeholders of the protocol, sure. That's everyone, isn't it? Team, Ayush Menom, Eric Ni. Uh, Ayush is founder of Katana, experienced Solana developer, two-time Solana hackathon winner, Radium Prize, Solana Season Hackathon Prize, undergraduate Harvard. Eric, founding energy of Katana, seasoned DeFi developer. Uh, he's built on Ethereum, full stack from the idea to product execution. He used to partake in math competitions and placed in the Putnam Top 500. Interesting. Graduated from uh, Carnegie Mellon with a degree in computer science and math and previously worked as a software engineer at Adapa and Jump Trading. Jump trading, that's my key in there right now. Jump trading, we know who else is from jump trading, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's look at some of their vaults. Um, they don't have any at the moment, of course, that hasn't been released. Uh, selling potential upside to lock in guaranteed yield, earning yield on volatility, harvesting yield on market downturns, and much more. Uh, I need more. It's not enough. I need more. The, you're the grand prize winner. You've got VCs chasing after you, and this small release of this doc this this documentation is very small, to be honest. Like even Invictus Capital, Invictus Sol Invictus has much more documentation than you guys. Um, I need more. Sorry, guys. Guys, <laughs> Selenium, six pools upcoming. How many pools have they done? One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 since launch of all of Solana. And now they have six pools in the next 14 days. That's crazy. This is why the, Solan the Slim token has been outperforming Solana. Look at this. Someone had a giant buy order on Dex Lab, but look at this giant, look at this uprise, which is going crazy. And people are realizing the profits up here. But let's have a look at some of them. Tab Trader is a giant one, apparently. I had no idea this existed. They are actually an existing app with no marketing and uh, they allow you to tra trade on your phone by connecting to all. All of the different exchanges we have another one which is uh, synchrony uh, DeFi, uh, decentralized um, asset management block asset which are athletic nfts nova finance which is a portfolio management fantasia which is a fantasy sports and unclub social platform for nft asset management guys if you get into one of these you know you're most likely going to increase your roi we can see some of the performance of some of these other coins uh, after they've gone through public sale after they've gone through ido to the public project seed 100x DeFi land 158x cryo war 224x holy crap these are games, but uh, and we know people like games uh, more than the financial instruments behind them. Like Matrix and Cyclos are still great financial instruments, but 
you know, people like games, people like the social aspect of things. So the fantasy sports is likely to do well, I think. The social platform for NFT might be doing well. The uh, athletic NFTs might be doing well. Man, the, the, yeah. So so if, if you don't have any slim, consider uh, getting some, even getting into the different pools. And remember the pools down here are, um, for Geb, 100, you only get one lottery ticket. Very unlikely for you to get anything. Kepri is a thousand X slim, which is, um, let's have a look, which is probably 0 0.15, uh, oh no, I need USDC, sorry. Slim on USDC, which is 3.35 times a thousand ish, which is around 3K ish. But remember, it's uh, not it's, it's slim and not X slim or not uh, the slim LP. So if you, you remember, you can get different uh, ratios of rewards. If you do, if you provide liquidity for the slim LP, then you get 2.5 X slim, which is the actual token you need to get to get a reward to get these uh, lottery tickets. Uh, Kepri Ra 5000 slim. That's 100 tickets, and then you get a guaranteed allocation at 10,000 X slim, which is a shit ton of money. I think that must be 10k. USD or something like that. But hey, if you get one of these, then they're likely to puff off, which is crazy, 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 crazy. So I'm looking forward to this. And there's 70,000 people in here. Average APY when you stake is 30%, but you can't unlock this there. So it's increasing, it's giving people an increasing um, ROI. But uh, as soon as these become unlocked, people will realize their profits. Now, similarly to uh, uh, Slim, we have Radium, also the other competitor, major competitor in Solana for IDEO launchpads. They're doing the Tab Trader IDEO as well. They have a 0 0.1 uh, uh, lottery system as well with 10,000 TTT. After that, on December 6th, is the Run Node. And Run Node is another RPC um, provider similar to uh, the shadowy supercoda <laughs> NFTs that we covered a while ago from Genesis Go. And then we have Really, which is a different one. Uh, that's December 9. And let's actually have a look at them. Really is a um, is a um, uh, digital fashion show, f fashion um, uh, producer. Let's have a look at them quickly. So Really is uh, the first and biggest street culture metaverse. Another metaverse play, guys. They have an app already you can download, and I think they have a login system. Let's have a look at their virtual city and look at what it actually that's looks like. If this is rendered, yeah, it's rendered. Art museum, virtual concerts, virtual pets, and more. Yeah, but this. It just looks like normal life. We don't want normal life in the real, in the metaverse. We want like something outrageous. I mean, look at this girl. She looks cool, looks sexy, but she doesn't look anything outrageous. Like it's, it's not, it's not anything different. But yeah, anyway, they have a uh, hyper real 3D models, virtual and physical encrypted NFC. Um, so I suppose you'll be able to get these, uh, Oh, and they have an ecosystem, which is great. So they have other brands within this metaverse. So they have the Really, they have this, they have that, Mascot Station, Shine Market, and something else. They have a look at all of them. So this is a brand from the Really, Really, Real, Recognized, Real, Revenge brand, which is kind of skulls and kind of uh, grungy work. Intersect, derived from the world. Intersect, uh, nothing, too slow. Mascot Station, kind of like a Japanese kind of thing. Mars Station, welcome to Mars. Ah, oh, there's nothing on these brand websites. Shine, which is like maybe shoes or like sleek wear. Awesome. So it's good that they have this little ecosystem as well. That's awesome. I want to see if they have a marketplace. Too slow to load. Come on, guys. Come on. The first and biggest street culture metaverse. We know. Any drops? No. NFTs? No. You got to log in, of course. Awesome. That's okay, man. We'll have a look later. Let's have a look later. But anyway, there's three ideas coming on Solana at the moment. Tab Trader, Run Node, and Really. And if you want to find out how to get into these ideas, they all have the uh, information for you to find out. So they have the pool information for requirements to join at the bottom. Click here for full details. Um, I'm really excited on the uh, Radium for Tab Trader. 
uh, run node as well and not as much as really because tab trader is a universal uh, application that everyone can use run node because it's following on from the shadowy supercoders which nfts minted at 2.5 sol and are now 30 sol so it's likely that they're going to get attention as well and they probably had to release this because shadowy supercoders did this <sighs> Now, just a quick shout out for Radium for continuously doing a great job. They've in, uh, included a new My Page section. I'll, I don't want to log in and show you my entire portfolio, but they have a nice overview, kind of like a little diagram that shows you a pie chart of what you have. Their farms are going crazy. Some of these uh, APYs are still super high. Cave, like 2 million. DFL, 2 million. They have their farmer strategies, which is the delta neutral uh, farming strategy. So basically the idea is you don't lose money, you just collect uh, interest um, uh, in it from the uh, funding rates. And we have active pools here, USDC still stable about 14%. Now I want to go all the way down to uh, Radium, which is giving you 77 plus 38%, which is like nearly 100% on Radium. And we saw on the Soda protocol, you could borrow Radium at 70% uh, and uh, uh, lend it over here for 100%. That's crazy. And then uh, we also, and of course you know why this is so high because people are using, are about to get into the Radium IDO pool. So obviously if they can borrow Radium and get a ticket and sell that ticket for a higher amount of price, it doesn't care about the Radium that they borrowed because they've made way more money than the Radium they're giving you in, in interest. Now look at the Gene pool, which is giving you 357% on your Gene tokens. That's crazy. The whole pool is being utilized. People are leverage farming the shit out of this because they're expecting it to perform well. And also people are borrowing uh, Gene because guess what gene geno pets are having the um fair launch protocol let's have a look so looking at the geno pets fair launch is seven hours to go so this video will probably you won't probably see this uh, in enough time to see it but the initial bids will occur uh, in co a one gene fee so the fair launch protocol how it works is that everyone gets in is able to put whatever they feel is the fair price for this uh product that they're offering and people uh, can either put uh, from a spectrum of five gene to 50 gene but whatever happens you're going to lose one gene as a fee this is to deter any bots now that being said what people can put five gene if they think this is worth five gene or put uh the current uh you can put uh 20 gene 50 gene and they get a uh it settles on a middle range where everyone thinks it's fair and if you're below this middle range you don't get the nft if you're above this middle range you get the nft uh it's it's just a different way to avoid bots uh, and we've seen a few other protocols and nft projects use this at the moment the bids are 17,000 bids at the moment and what are you actually bidding for this is for an egg for a geno pet and of course people are able to borrow this on francium for 300 uh or people are able to use this as uh, leverage uh, to, to, to get a, an egg and um, I'm not following this very often if you're interested in getting an egg follow Bondog uh, and the Solana gaming channel he covers Juno Pets very in depth but this is uh, a lot of money for uh, NFT probably $2,000 if it settles at a medium price range 30 gene um, 50 gene which I think is maybe 3k at the moment yeah so, so yeah people, people are having gene a lot but I want to give you a small a small excerpt from from the grape protocol and someone mentioned here it was a swaggerdoodle something worth mentioning there is no leverage for the frankium gene ray pool and gene usd farm if you borrow gene also there is no perpetual futures on ftx for geno pets so basically you can't short gene at the moment similar to aurori cell pressure is still at a considerable amount due to high farming emissions but i think someone is heavily interested in pushing the price of the coin someone with way more money and way more influence any opinions he's bullish on both orori and uh gene but uh he still thinks there's some shady stuff going on so come to the solana Alpha channel and find out if you've got any ideas now bond feeder which is our uh, local naming service in solana they give you all your names metaverse uh, it's me dot soul uh, so it's much easier to send uh things to you to each other but they now have come out with jabber which is a uh, decentralized kind of uh messaging service what can you actually do with it you can customize your user profile let's have a look at smb.monkey.soul uh, this is a super rare monkey uh, you can see his little address here he's got a little bio you can put a profile picture if you have a domain you register your twitter name and you can export your seed so it's literally a um, a wallet on a, on a messaging app tipping function uh, you can tip people with uh, in the message if you feel like they've earned your time and they have a group fact, uh, group chat function but uh, keep in mind uh, unlike direct messages group chat messages are not encrypted so everything is happening on chain if you have a direct message with someone it's on chain if you have a group message it's not um, encrypted <sighs> free raj 
what value does Jabba add to the Solana ecosystem? Jabba is the very first mobile messaging app built on any blockchain. I don't know about that. Can anyone verify that? Find out in the comments. Let me know. Jabba is the first mobile messaging app built on any blockchain. On on any blockchain. Uh, Bonfita believes that Jabba will bring more social applications to the Solana ecosystem. The most important value of Jabba is that it provides users trustless and decentralized way to monetize their interactions. This feature can be used by a wide range of projects, from NFT marketplaces to GameFi projects. Awesome. I wonder if we can actually download the app and try it out. I'll try it out later. We'll see. Soul Rise Dawn, what is happening? You guys, there's 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 no um, there's no oomph. Where's the fire? We have AUM still struggling at about sixteen thousand for Iceberg Soul, and he's his fund performance has still settled all the way down at minus thirty nine percent because we had this little uh a little uh dip in the market but you know everything's back up we just had these prices like two days ago uh we have someone who's buy the dip and of course he bought the dip and of course his fund performance is pr improving by plus 31 percent which is pretty good um, and it's good to see who these people are you can see them on twitter but um nothing is really happening here you can stake your uh soul rise tokens the uh, token isn't performing that well we haven't seen any major improvements in the, in the fund let's let's keep an eye out to see what's actually happening I, i'm slightly disappointed with soul rise at the moment but hey i'm still bullish long term they're still providing a valuable service and they are the leader in the service at the moment now aurori preferably the second most popular game on solana next to star atlas hey um is uh, have their locked staking at the moment so let's go ahead and look you just go to their twitter make sure it is the correct twitter with 157 followers click on the app.aurori.io slash staking this will take you to their staking page what you actually see is there is a now an unlocked section and a locked toggle so if you were staking for x ori before you were in the unlocked section and the estimated apr is 31 percent you can remove this anytime you want and you are earning 31 percent now that's cool, but if you want your if you want your uh, tokens liquid, of course, you can just unstake right away, get your Ori back, and sell it on the market whenever you want. If you actually want to in play this game and be interested in the game, similar to Illuvium or Star Atlas or you know Axie, where you can stake, man, your locked staking is currently earning three hundred and twenty percent APR. This is crazy, and it's it's uh, locked actually until you won't be able to unstake before the 27th uh, of the 5th, 2022. So that's at least six months from now. We're not in December. Six months from now, which is pretty good. So I have a balance of 13 Aurori only, very tiny in my test account, and I'm earning an estimated amount of 0 0.118 Aurori per day. Um, this, they give you an explanation of how it works. But this is pretty cool. This uh, gives the long-term believers uh, extra APY so that they don't they can at least earn way more than they're currently earning when it's an, in an unlocked phase. Now everyone is still locked is still unlocked. There's 3.5 million tokens in the unlocked section, and there's only 481 in the locked section. And of course, once people release these, they'll probably go to the lock section because they're already locking. Might as well lock for a long time for a higher APY. This will reduce the liquidity in the pools, and people will have to pay a higher price for this token. Uh, that's about it. Let's look at some NFTs. Our NFT TVL has been uh, slightly decreasing at seven point uh, seven hundred and eighteen million dollars. Um, now that being said, nothing has changed in the top apart from Boriku Dragons, which is a new contender. Their floor price is two hundred and forty-four soul, which is incredible. Uh, so this has their own ecosystem where you can, similar to CyberKongs on Ethereum, where you can get tokens from owning a dragon, and then you can use those tokens to breed new dragons and get an egg and uh, more tokens and tokens get airdropped to you so they have this whole thing going on and of course radium is now supporting their token and giving them liquidity on the radium platform so a bit more exposure for the dragons and so we can see their volume has uh, volume has increased and the floor price has increased 244 and there's only a thousand of them so obviously this doesn't dilute the market as much as uh, another um, another uh, protocol which only has which has 10k so obviously if if you're talking from a supply demand and kind of like a uh, a volume uh, metric then that should, uh, something that's only a thousand of them compared to ten thousand of them should have ten times the price if they were if they have the same function if they're worth the same thing you know it should have ten times the price and you can see here um Boriku dragons is probably worth more than soul punks soul punks is 6.4 it would be 64 um if you're looking at um the same price comparison that's about it guys let's actually see is there anything new coming up what's upcoming just a quick look at the artwork and see if anything um catches my eye happy cockers no 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 sitting monkey down no no 
No. No. Man. Enough of this pixelated shit. Enough of this pixelated shit. I need some nice... Oh, Meta Waifu is probably a play on the Soul Girlfriend or the Meta Base. Uh, sure, art is a lot better, but I need a bit more. I need a bit more. This is not much. Nothing stands out here, guys. Nothing stands out here. Portals. Portals did incredibly well. I did an AMA with the Portals team and man, it shot up. I think the um, trading price for Portals at the moment is 30 Soul. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Ah, Portals isn't listed here. That's not cool. Now, Portals is a metaverse play uh, and we see here their floor price is 15 Soul. And I think they minted about 3 Soul or maybe 2 Soul, I forget. Uh, and we can see there's not many items on the marketplace. There's only 32 out of 5,000. Now, this is a metric that you use to measure uh, NFT mints. It depends on how much, uh, how liquid is the market, how how many uh, nfts people actually put on the market if you can see that it's such a low amount of items on the market of course the prices are going to be higher but it also means the community is that much stronger no one wants to fucking put their nfts on the market to sell so the community is stronger which means if you want to buy in you're going to have to pay a higher price uh, if there was a thousand or maybe two thousand on the market then you know most of these are flippers they don't really care about it they just want to get get their profit out of it and there's 32 owners only uh in the um in the um in this marketplace 15 sold floor they have the ivory they have a few other ones which is the onyx and the vision vision's going for about a hundred soul uh, minimum i think oh, 550 holy shit anyway portals is a small nft project where uh metaverse project where you can go in display your own room to people uh, make games uh, make a dungeon crawl out of your room that sort of stuff that's it for this episode guys thank you very much for watching i hope it hasn't been too long for you i said it would be short but it's quite long i'm sorry i will see you another time ciao Thank you.